tape drill is to uh, to train uh, the athlete to understand uh, uh, what the acceleration should feel like in terms of the depth of the pushes and the uh, the gradual rise and, and the, and the pro, um, progress up the track. So uh, the idea is to see, is to uh, cue the athlete um, to uh, push the hips over the tape. So the feet may not, don't have to come down on the tape. What we're looking for is, uh, they don't even have to come down in front of the tape. What we're looking for is hip position. Uh, you know, when they hit the ground, we're looking for uh, the angle of the shin uh, to see that it's negative when they hit, and then we're looking for the next push to be complete uh, in a sense that if I'm looking from a side view, I can uh, draw a straight line through the angle to the tip of their head. I see some f uh, full range of motion, sweeping action with the arms, uh, good uh, punching piston-like uh, action with the thighs, and a gradual rise in posture uh, as the tape grows in distance from step to step. So uh, she's doing a really good job here. Uh, uh, one of her primary issues was she was very quick, but not very powerful. And so with uh, larger range of motion uh, through, the, uh, through the legs, through the arms, uh, we, can, we can create a more efficient uh, 100 meter uh, or acceleration pattern uh, that can be applied to all of her races.